Hey guys, let's get another big step closer to the first flight of the Optera with the Paradisco Chuck flight controller. We have to reverse this servos. Why are we doing that? Let's take a look after the intro. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about reversing the servers of the Optera and why do we want to do that. The Chuck flight control unit is now living in a new frame, being the Optera. But the flight controller has no idea it is doing that. So since the servers are flipped, uh, every right input of the flight control unit in reality would be a left one and vice versa. So when it's trying to stabilize the aircraft is giving exactly the wrong opposite inputs basically ramming the aircraft right into the ground. And that is the same reason why we cannot um, do it electronically. We cannot program the flight control unit. We can do it on the TBS Tango on Crossfire in manual mode. But when we are flipping the switch and want to fly in automatic mode it wouldn't be possible. And that is why we have to physically do some soldering to get the servers in the reversed order to be in line with what the original programming of the Chuck flight control unit is. And that was quite a bit of a challenge. We have basically um, three cable ports uh, on the logic board. I say now brown, red and orange because the red cables we have to resolder are right below that. And when googling it and looking at other servers, usually it is flipping the outer cables, being the brown and the orange one. However, the E-Flight servers, they have to be flipped in the uh, middle and in the right position, right being orange and red. So red and orange have to be flipped and we are fine. So in total we have six different combinations how we can solder those cables in place. And position 5 was the one which was correct, so I had to sort on my way through uh, the majority of all combinations to arrive at the uh, correct outcome. Being a bit worried to destroy the servers in the process, but in the end it was fine and I got lucky to find the right combination and uh, the servers are working. So that was all good. Here we are looking at the negative and positive side of the uh, motor and how the cables are connected. They just have to be reversed, uh, soldering them um, on the other port. That is straightforward. However, the connectors are very short and uh, it is important to solder them well on that they are not getting loose or uh, not working well since uh, a defect server will directly lead to losing the aircraft, especially when we are talking about a flying wing where we just have two servers controlling all axes of the aircraft. In a normal airplane where we have an elevator and a rudder and ailerons, maybe we can make up for it, um, depending a little bit on what server is failing, but in a wing that is completely out of the question and that aircraft will be lost.
and here we are. The servers are done, all reversed and we are one big step closer to the maiden flight. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, that would be great, it really helps out the channel. Leave comments below and stay tuned for more content. Thanks guys for watching, have a great rest of the day. Stay safe and see you in the next one.